tree Furniture tree Assembling your Ashton bookcase, you should have three packages. Inside one of them you will find the hardware. This includes eight bolts, eight washers, eight nuts, 16 tapping screws and a bunch of screws plus some tools. Firstly, you want to put your sides by each other. Note that there are big holes and small holes on the inside panel. Make sure that the, the small hole is facing to the bottom. Grab one shelf. The flat part is the top. Face that to the top with the coach screws. Grab two of them and your Allen key and just wind those into place. To make life easy, you can cut off the end and attach the Allen key to a drill if you have one. That just makes life a lot simpler. Once the four shelves are in place, roll it over and sit it on top. Just angle it until you get the dowels located into the holes provided. One, two, lift up the third and fourth shelf and guide those home. The eight remaining coach screws, screw those through. And that completes the process for the shelves. Notice the recess join. That is the back of the bookcase. Grab the bottom part of the shelf. That looks like this. And with your two bolts, push those through the holes. Then two more down the bottom. You may have to lift the bookcase up to guide it through the holes. In with your four washers and four nuts. Washer on first, then attach the nut. Just hand tighten these. We will tighten those up later. Now attaching the top. You'll notice uh, that one rail is longer than the other. The longest rail goes on the back section, as shown. Guide this into place. You may have to lift it up to fit it in snugly. Then with the remaining four bolts, through the top so you get a nice clean finish guide that through the holes the remaining washers place those on and then the nut over the top again just hand tighten We now go to the stage of putting the back on. Just slide the bookcase on its face edge, the back facing upwards. Notice the cross rail. That should line up with one of the shelves. Just place that on the top. The centre rail is off the shelf, so that's the wrong way. Spin it round and that should all line up. 
what we want to do is scribe some markings. This will just make life easier when putting the screws through the back onto the shelf. Sometimes it's off centre, so this just allows you to put the screw in the right place. Slot the back in. Square it up. Sometimes you'll get a tight edge on the bottom. Just bend the back slightly. Until it fits in. With a hammer or mallet, a mallet is preferred because it doesn't damage the bookcase. Just tap the back until it's smooth. Now we need to screw the back on. You can either use a Phillips screwdriver, or in this case I've got a drill. When placing the screws in, make sure it goes in on the angle so it doesn't splinter your shelf. Just make sure the hole is near the centre. If it's slightly off, you can angle it into the, the screw so it meets the shelf. Lastly, we need to lock in the bookcase. You should have a spanner, or if you have a socket attachment, number 13, this will make life easier. This is showing using the spanner. Just lock until tight. With the drill, it does the job for you. That's the bottom part, place the bookcase on the ground and then do the four remaining top bolts. Just make sure that the uh, top rail is lined up with the sides, may need a gentle tap to close up the gaps. That completes your bookcase. Furniture tree, furniture tree.